so in the previous lecture we we ended our lecture with an example from group theory so we saw that given a group and given a normal subgroup uh, we can look at the equivalence classes so the normal subgroup defines an equivalence relation on our group and we can look at the equivalence classes we can give a, the the set of equivalence classes a group structure uh, such that some nice things happen and today in this lecture we will uh, see that we can do something similar in topology so let's address the question first what the question is uh, so let x be a set and suppose we have an equivalence relation on x right so let x mod equivalence be the set of equivalence classes right so then we have this obvious map the natural map pi from x to x mod equivalence right what does it do it takes x and sends it to its equivalence class so right now everything is only happening for sets right uh, now suppose we have a map of sets f from x to y right uh, such that x equivalent to y implies f of x equal to f of y right or this property we can phrase it as follows uh, simply simply stated f is constant on equivalence classes right so then this function this map of sets it factors uniquely as So we have f small equivalence is pi, so it factors like f naught. We get a map of sets from the set of equivalence classes to y, right? And what is f naught? So f naught is defined as follows. Right? So let alpha be an equivalence class. And let x in x be such that the equivalence class of x is this alpha, right? So we define f naught of alpha to be equal to f of x, right? Now this is well defined because f is constant on equivalence classes, right? So clearly this definition. makes sense as f is constant on equivalence classes right so now we are going to bring in topologies and we are going to complicate this problem so now further assume that or rather now consider the situation where x is a topological space yeah and we have this equal insulation on x right so is this an equivalence relation on the underlying set okay so what we want to do is we want to put so the question is can we put a topology on x mod equivalence so this is just like can we group 
put a group structure on G mod n such that uh, the following two things happen. One, the map, the natural map pi from x to x mod equivalence is continuous. And two, uh, okay, suppose we are given a continuous map, a continuous map. f from x to y. So, y is another topological space and we are given a continuous map such that f is constant on equivalence classes. Right. So, then as a map of sets, we are going to get a factorization like this. f is this, we have pi, we have x mod equivalence and we get this map of sets f naught, then we get a map of sets f naught from x mod equivalence to y. Right? So, the second condition we want is that f naught must be continuous. Right? So, we do not, so we get a unique map of sets in fact. Even here, the f naught is unique. It's com and completely determined by f. Okay. Okay. So let me make a remark. So, if you only impose condition 1, so then this problem has a very easy solution. Right? Easy solution, namely, we can just give x mod. Uh, this equivalence relation, the equivalence class is the trivial topology. Right. So, since there are only two open subsets, the empty set and the entire set, the inverse image of both these will be uh, open and therefore, pi will be continuous. Yeah. But if you give, the, give this the trivial topology, then the second condition, the second property may not be satisfied. Okay. So, the main result, the main theorem we are going to prove in this lecture. there is a unique topology tau on x mod equivalence which satisfies the above two conditions. So, let us prove this theorem. So, uh, let us first show that there is such a topology, a topology tau on x mod this equivalence which satisfy, satisfying the two conditions. So, we are going to define tau first. So, let tau be the collection of subsets u contained in x mod equivalence such that this pi inverse u is open in x. Okay. So, uh, it is easily checked and I will leave it as an exercise. That tau satisfies 
wave conditions to define topology. That's a very easy check, and I will do it as an exercise. Yeah. So uh, obviously, so now, now let's prove that both the these two conditions are satisfied. So first, we have to show that this map pi from x to x mod equivalence is continuous. Yeah. So one the map pi x to x mod equivalence. Is continuous, right? For this, we have to show that, given an open subset V in x mod equivalence, pi inverse V is open in x. Yeah, but this is clear from the very definition of uh, the topology in x mod equivalence. definition of tau right v is in tau if and only if pi inverse v is an open subset of x okay the second condition we want to check is uh, suppose we are given a continuous map f from x to y which is constant on equivalence classes right so then we get this resulting map f not of sets, a map of sets determined by f, right? So we need to show that we need to show that f naught is continuous. Is continuous, right? For this, we need to show that. So let v contained in y be an open subset. So we need to show that f not inverse of v is open x mod equivalence. Yeah. So for this, uh, applying the definition, of tau, this happens. If and only if pi inverse of f not inverse of v is open in x, right? But simple set theory tells us that pi inverse of f not inverse of v is equal to f inverse of v, which is open as f is continuous. So this shows that tau satisfies both the conditions. Okay. Um, uh, next, let us prove that this topology is unique. So suppose there is another topology tau prime on x mod equivalence such that conditions 1 and 2 hold for tau prime. Okay. So let us make this diagram. So we have x, we have this map pi. This map is to x mod equivalence, comma tau prime. Yeah. So the first condition is that the obvious map x goes to the class of x. This should be continuous if x mod equivalence has the topology uh, has the top, has 
should be continuous in our topology. So, we are giving x mod equal in the topology tau prime and by assumption since tau prime satisfies condition 1, this map is continuous, right. So, but we also have this map x mod equivalence comma tau, right. Now, as tau satisfies condition 2, we get this dotted arrow like this, right. So, let us call this pi naught, yeah. Uh, okay. So, the dotted arrow we will get anyway. So, note that. the map of sets pi naught pi naught is forced to be be the identity uh, as is Right. So, this uh, map of sets pi naught that we get that is forced to be the identity, right. So, since tau satisfies condition 2, this implies that pi naught is continuous, right. So, thus if V is in tau prime, V is an open subset in tau prime, then pi inverse pi naught inverse of v which is equal to v is open in tau right so this implies that tau prime is contained in tau okay so similarly we can switch the roles of tau and tau prime so we have this So, we get this pi naught, right. So, as uh, tau prime satisfies the second condition, this implies that pi naught is continuous. So, once again, this implies that tau is contained in tau, right. So, thus tau is equal to tau. So, this completes the proof of the theorem. So, this topology the above topology on x mod equivalence is called the quotient topology. So, we will end this lecture here.